Today's horoscope from Astro Academy, Leo February 3rd, 2023. Your intuition for research, health, and work is strong today. The day's energy support a sense of a higher purpose or mission and general enjoyment of your routines. You take more interest in your psychological health and how it impacts your physical health. The desire to perform, work, and excel is strong, and creative energy is abundant. You can pull back from a situation just enough to get a good overview, and problem solving comes more easily and naturally. The moon heads into your social sector later today, and you need some freedom and space to be yourself. Venus is spinning across the sky in a fellow mutable sign. As she spins in the deep seas and underwater caverns of the zodiac sign of Pisces, you'll also be deep in your feels. The entire world benefits at any time our lesser benefic visits these reefs, as she is known to be exalted at this time. This reveals that Venus can bestow pure and absolute blessings on us, our personal lives, and our relationships. Not only are we more seductive and open, but we are more easily seducible, too. Let these lovely vibes overtake you. You won't regret it. Do you feel like you are in control of where your work life is heading? You may need to mull over your options to ensure that you are empowered when investing your time, energy, and resources into your work when the sun in Aquarius sextals Chiron in Aries. It might be time to reconsider how much or what you invest into your job functions. If you need to, do not be afraid to scale back while figuring out what to focus on. Meanwhile, Shift your attention to your professional dreams and work friends when the moon enters Cancer. In the heart of the working week, the moon is wrapping up its first visit to your career sector since Mars' direct turn and what has been an insightful and empowering few days across the income, work, and career fronts. It was support from and for the Dwarf Planet series in your income sector that is helping to turn any financial tension into motivation. Your need to feel needed and useful gives you the drive to work tirelessly to meet your goals or the goals of others. This is an admirable quality intensely favored by our modern society, but step back and take a realistic look at what it's doing to your body. Are you putting off exercise in order to work more? Are you skipping meals or eating poorly due to the work schedule you keep? Make your work ethic a real virtue and remind yourself when it's time to quit. With the essence of a one day about you you may feel the desire to spend some time rejuvenating yourself. There is nothing wrong with this, as taking care of others means that you also need to take care of the caregiver. Surrender yourself to the needs that this day has brought to the forefront for you. Do whatever feels right. Once you have rejuvenated your spirit and body, you'll feel more ready to resume with the care you give to others. The moon is once again not only having a pivotal impact today but in more ways than one. The moon will leave your career sector today, but not before spending its final hours at a friendly aspect to Saturn in your work sector. This is the moon's first visit since Mars turned direct and with both he and Saturn leaving next month, this is a chance for job and career forces to unite to move things forward. It is then that the moon will not only return to your friendship sector but will join up with Venus in the heart of her first full week in your relationship sector. In the heart of the working week, the cosmic conditions are making this even busier, something that would normally squeeze out too much time for your relationships. Instead, it is just as a friendly aspect between Venus in your relationship sector and the Dwarf Planet series in your communication sector is coming together that the moon shifts its focus to support them. Our eyes in the sky. Neptune shares a minor frustration with the nodes of destiny, giving us a chance to embrace our intuition and creativity. This process helps us implement our goals and desires. Our thoughts and heartfelt sentiments can now become tangible commodities as we use our talents to turn our dreams into reality. This could be an extraordinary day as a result. Just when we thought we were out of retrograde season we get pulled back in with series moving backward in Libra on Friday, giving us one final case of the winter blues. For the next couple weeks, 
expect to confront some disharmony in all our most personal relationships as we try to balance we and me without ruining everything we've built. Both mind and body are in perfect harmony, you feel fully fit. Don't overdo your exercise regime, what seems to be a logical amount of activity doesn't always correspond with your energy level. Too much strenuous exercise can lead to problems, so take control, be cautious and employ some firm discipline. Feeling full of energy, you're physically fit and mentally in great shape. Provide any excess pent-up energy with an outlet, by going jogging, perhaps with a group of friends. The best thing to do is simply listen to your body, discover what it is that makes it feel so good. This way you increase your health even more. Love could really hurt when Venus in Pisces squares Mars in Gemini on Saturday, so this also isn't a great time for relationships. Harsh words and petty fighting could really ruin your weekend. Avoid domineering people who need to have things their own way. You'll thank us later. Your positive attitude enables you to work well with others. Your own priorities are much clearer giving you a distinct advantage over the way you cooperate with colleagues who provide you with the necessary space you need for you to focus on your goals. If you don't get carried away, everything proceeds okay. We end the week on a dramatic note with the full moon in lively Leo on Sunday. The moon is on full display and so are our egos as we open our hearts to love, glamour, and some delicious drama to really heat up a cold night. In the pre-dawn hours, the moon trines Saturn in Aquarius, helping us to skill build. Saturn improves the focus of the ordinarily fidgety Gemini moon. With honed concentration, we can map out our day with confidence while still leaving wiggle room to explore curiosities that crop up in our periphery. We could be drawn to elders with experience who can guide us along our path. They have teachings to share, but we may have to ask for their assistance, as they might not think to offer it otherwise. Similarly, others may seek us out for the knowledge or skills that we regard as second nature. The moon then enters a void period lasting until afternoon, discouraging us from starting new projects. Late in the morning, the Aquarius sun sextals Chiron in Aries, helping us to resolve ego wounds. This aspect works healing magic, absolving us of insecurities. However, we may not understand the full extent of this transit's potency until the moment has passed. With the Sun in eccentric Aquarius, we have an opportunity today to stand in our truth as our most original selves. Honoring what makes us unique comes naturally. We connect with others through niche interests, finding community as we let our authentic light shine. Subsequently, no grand events are required for us to grow. It is only later, when we discover a weight has been lifted from our hearts and minds, that we clock the medicine of the Sunshine Sextal.